Hi, and welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are on location with the bug man, Paul Salvent, here in his beautiful kitchen, cooking up a lot of oyster recipes. Right, Paul? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're doing a ton of different oyster recipes. Every way that you can think of oysters, we're going to be doing it today. From raw to grilled to a pasta dish and everything. And fried. And fried. Yes. That's right. Can't forget the fried ones. Mm -hmm. Now, um, in front of you, you have like a special dish that you do called oyster salvent. Tell us Correct. a little bit about it. Uh, basically, it's got andouille bacon. you got to all your onion ingredients. Mm -hmm. We got to saute all this down, put the mushrooms in, have a, make a little roux and put it in a cream sauce, add the oysters last, and we're going to put it over fettuccine. Wow, now that sounds really good. Now, you, to get started with this, you need to kind of saute these things. Down. Yes, yes. And you got some French settlement on dewey here, some mm -hmm. bacon, Creole veggies, that kind of thing. It's going to take a few minutes. Yes. Now, while that's going, we're actually going to show you some of the fishing footage from over at Paul's camp down in Grand Isle. Now, Paul, y'all had a great trip the last time you went. Yes, we caught some big trout. Big trout. So we're going to look at some of that while we get all these veggies cooking. Ah, we're fishing out here in Barataria Bay around one of my favorite wellheads. It's got a couple of radio towers on it, about five feet of water. Winds died down. Caught a good many yesterday out in front of Caminata Pass. We got pretty beat up uh, with the ground swells out there, but we caught some three and four pound specks yesterday. Uh, did well yesterday. Didn't get a lot of numbers, but uh, we ended up catching about 30. But out of that 30, we had uh, two over four pounds and three over three pounds. So we had a really nice uh, mess of fish. This morning, the trout are running a little small. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with. They, hopefully it picks up, but we're uh, not getting beat up. The wind's not blowing, having a good day. Throwing a Carolina rig out here with live shrimp. With a kale hook, number number two kale hook. About 6.30 in the morning. My friend Dwight's already caught two. I'm no fool. If that's what they want, that's what I'm gonna switch to. Now Dwight here has been friends with Paul since seventh grade and they go fishing together all the time. At this point, Dwight is a few fish in the box ahead of Paul, but the bug man ain't going down without a fight. He's going to start throwing live shrimp on a Carolina rig and try to get caught up. I got double, but this is finally I got a decent one. Probably be a catfish running down. That ain't good. No, that's a good fish. That's a good size trout here. That's good for lace. Yeah. That was the first good hit I hit I had this morning. Fish on. Now Paul's been coming to his camp in Grand Isle since 1982 when he had it with his dad and his brother. Now when Katrina came along, she tried to blow it away, but they rebuilt. Now, just because you don't have a camp in Grand Isle doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the state park facilities there. You can go to their website and check out the page for Grand Isle and maybe do some beach camping while you're there. In Louisiana, speckled trout limits are 25 per person per day with a 12 inch minimum total length. For more information about creel limits and sizes, you can go to the Wildlife and Fisheries website at the bottom of the screen. Oh, what you got? Yeah, that's a big speck. Right. Yeah, you don't want to let that one lift him in the boat. Finally got one. He's invited to dinner, but he ain't a big one like you just caught. Well, had three boats at the wellhead, and they weren't catching anything. 
So since they were experiencing a lull at the wellhead, Paul decided to move over to a rock jetty that he calls TV Island. He calls it TV Island because after Katrina, there was a TV sitting on top of the rocks. If I still got this fish, I do. Hook the back pole. That's my best fish today. Yellow, whoa, whoa, hold what you got. That's a good trout. All right. We're over here at TV Island over here right now. We moved from a wellhead where they had two charter boats and they weren't catching anything. But I guess I got, this is a little spot we found a few years ago. Not a whole lot of people fish it. And they're on over here this morning. Better than that wellhead. Uh, uh, I'll tell you in a second. Maybe a little flipper. We good. We good. Who, Dwight? Yeah. Neat net, neat net. Mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Salvant with the Bugman Fishing Team. We've been down at Grand Isle for the last couple of days fishing, and uh, we had a good day today. Uh, we caught probably about 30 specks, uh, fixing to clean them. Uh, let's go see what Marissa's doing in the kitchen, what we're going to cook today. Well, Paul, we'll be heading over to your house and cooking up oysters every way possible. So y'all stay tuned right here to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll be right back. <laughs> 